Hi, my name is Celia Lemont. Si je ne le faisais pas, personne ne le ferait. C'est tout. Dans notre pays, il suffit maintenant de prononcer les mots travailleur social, agent de probation ou conseiller d'orientation pour que tout le monde vous regarde avec mépris. So I used to work for this marketing company called Fox Murphy. And you know, the great thing about working there was that everyone had something outside of work, you know? <laughs> Do you want to know what I really think, Mr. Pilot? I think this whole story about you hemming and hawing about what to do with Jesus is just a load of made up crap. Il essaie de nettoyer les égouts de la société. Il ramasse les orties. Il fait ce que personne ne fait. Ce que personne ne veut faire. Est-ce qu'on a ramassé tout cela? Mon dieu, non. But there was this one woman whose thing was horses. Her name was Emma, and the reason I know this is because Emma liked to talk about her horses quite a lot in the open plan office where we were all trying to work. But mostly, it was fine, you know? My friend Kat used to send me one word emails that just said, nay. Yeah, but one day it got really bad. There is nothing that we know about you, Mr. Pilot, absolutely nothing that would suggest even for a second that you would have even a passing moment's hesitation about putting any Jew to death. Yeah, it got so bad that uh, I sent an email to Kat this time, and the email was very short. It simply said, if she doesn't stop talking about that fucking horse, I'm going to blind it, cut its head off and leave it in her bed. Only I didn't send it to Kat, did I? No, I sent it to Emma by mistake. <laughs> Nous mettons notre morale pourri dans nos visages en disant, si, si, putain. Oh, si j'avais mon duo occupé, désolé, je n'aurais pas fait comme ça. Un bien fait leur alors, let alone a revolutionary figure like Jesus, who has been proclaimed Messiah, who came to the city of Jerusalem to crowds of cheering supporters, and who the very next day incited a riot at your temple. Mais vas-y putain, toi le journaliste, toi le politicien, va parler aux gens qui, hmm? va soutenir les familles déchirées, empêche les gardes de voler, viens les rejoindre, c'est le casino ce boulot. Tu vas voir. Tout le monde pour jouer. Any normal person would have said sorry, but me? No, what I did was I leapt at Emma. Yeah, I, f I physically levitated through the space between us and wrapped my arms and legs around her like a panic-stricken starfish. You hated your assignment. You hated Judea. And what's more, Mr. Pilot, is that you hated the Jews. You hated them. Il y a juste une règle à respecter, c'est celle-ci. Personne ne peut jouer sans jouer. Pour ça, c'est sur la table. On doit acheter des jetons. Et si tu n'es pas prêt à payer ces jetons avec ton temps et tes propres efforts, va dire je suis désolé, mais va te faire foutre. Yeah, needless to say, I don't work for Fox Murphy anymore. I think it made you feel small and inadequate. I think it gave you nervous tics and kept you up at nights and made you count the days until you were back in your bourgeois comfort of Rome. But hey, that's just what I think.